Behold, Falcon, an IPA with big citrus and piney hop character. This beer is for the sophisticated hop heads who can appreciate a strong but well-balanced beverage. Can I uh, get a Vulcan, please? Blackstar Co-op brewmaster Jeff Young conceived of this vibrant colored creation during his days in Birmingham, Alabama, where the power of Vulcan, the god of fire, looms omnipresent in the world's largest cast iron statue. Wait a minute, that's a bobblehead. Well, like its fiery namesake, the Black Star Vulcan packs a punch. Mmm, fire gods are tasty. Hi, I'm Mike Langford, and this is Locapore, the show about locally brewed beer. So it's called the Vulcan. Uh, let's get into it. Tell me a little bit about this beer. What's it all about? This was kind of designed long before Black Star. I was living in Birmingham, Alabama. That's when I started getting into home brewing. I was there kind of finishing up school. I was working as a chemist and just started experimenting with some hoppy beers. I was really inspired by a company out in, in Athens, Georgia uh, called Terrapin. They do great things with hops and they do great things with rye. So Vulcan was my attempt at, at trying to kind of mimic those two things, hops and rye, and putting them together. You mentioned you were a chemist. Yes. And now you're a brewer. So I imagine there are some similarities there, but talk, talk to me a little bit about the path and you know, how, sure. how, how that happened. It's just different kinds of drugs is, is how <laughs> I see it. Most recently I was a pharmaceutical chemist. Okay. Now the thing that is missing, at least for me at my level on the pharmaceutical or chemist side, is the enjoyment of the product. Sure. You know, so yeah. at the end of the day, I'm not like proud. I'm not watching somebody take you know, oxymorphone or for their back pain or something. Yeah. And, and you know, like, yeah, you like it? You like it? You know, <laughs> what do you think? And that's what brewing allows me to do is to exercise my scientific mind that, you know, coming from the chemistry background, exercise that experimental side, but also give me the satisfaction of sharing it with people and getting feedback and, and, and improving it or, or, or yeah. changing things. I don't know how many brewers have any type of chemical training. I doubt most of them do. I mean, I, uh, my experience with a lot of homebrew guys is they, they tend to be well-educated guys, you know, who went to college. Many of them tend to be somewhat technical. Like I know a lot of developers, so for whatever reason, I was yeah. something with, about coders who like to brew There's something beer. about coders. I don't know what the deal is. All my brewing friends are, are smart. They're, yeah. they're engineers, they're sharp people. So, you know, brewing is not just a collection of people that like to get drunk. It, it's people that are trying to ex express themselves in a technical way. Yeah. And there's not a lot of technical outlets in the world, or at least what I've experienced. You're doing things for money, obviously, but you're also trying to stay within these confines, and that's good to a point. But what, what you generally don't have is the artistic ability of being able to craft things yeah. that are more than the sum of its parts. You know, you're creating more than just a chemical compound. You're creating this whole ecosystem of, of chemical compounds that somehow taste great or they're hoppy and added bonus maybe gets you drunk every once yeah. in a while. We never actually got around to like fully describing what the hell we did. We, 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 we said we the word and it. then we went into well, burning. Well, because I wanted to hear the story behind it. So now, like, our, first of all, the Vulcan, what kind of beer is it? It feels very IPA ish or pale ale ish to me. Like, yeah, I'm a yeah. Lot of hops here. A lot of hops. We would call it a rye IPA. It contains a lot of proteins that increase the viscosity of okay. the beer. And that's really important to me. But what I try to do with Vulcan is create this uh, multi base. It has a little backbone to it to hold all those hop characteristics up. And one of the easier ways to do that is put some rye in there. And it's one of the harder things to brew with because it is so viscous. Because there's so much uh, glutens and proteins that it's, it's kind of a difficult beer and it takes us about an hour longer to brew it than So than now a when you beer. mentioned viscosity, so you're talking about the actual thickness of the mouthfeel of the beer. Like if, so it's so some beers will feel more watery, to, for lack of a better phrase. Yeah. And then other beers will feel like I would say not syrupy, but just heavier in the mouth. Like if you actually put it, you know, take a sip, you're like, this is, there's a lot of weight in there, right? Yeah, and, yeah. and on the glass, almost having like a little legs, like you see that these are staying a little yeah, longer. Yeah, right? it's beautiful. Yeah. Turn it that to the gorgeous, camera, that's actually. pretty. That is, that is gorgeous, <laughs> I like that. Part of one of the things I was trying to do with Vulcan, only as an aside, is, is get it a little bit color of kind of like fire, a little orangey, a little red, copper, um, just because it's, it's the god of fire and yeah. forge, and I thought, 
Uh, it, it, it shouldn't be this light beer. It just doesn't doesn't yeah. work. It should be a little bit of a It's definitely of a, a fire. it's just a very vibrant orange. Mm -hmm. flavor. So it's a little bit darker than than yeah. usual IPAs. Okay. A little more alcohol than your usual IPA, but not by much. Okay. I think it's just the upper end of the okay. of the range. It's up to the brewer to not screw up the ingredients. We get great ingredients from the Pacific Northwest, from, from uh, Europe and, and, and New Zealand, and we add those to the beer, and it's our job to add them correctly and retain as much flavor as we can. It's not like I'm creating these beautiful flavors coming out of the hops. It's our responsibility to try to keep those flavors, uh, express them properly, and keep them in the beer. What floors me, because you'll go out for a night of drinks, right, and, and have and several beers in the same style, so you can have several IPAs, right? And it blows me away that they all have basically the same ingredients, frankly. Right? And the change in flavor. Like, if I were to go drink any other IPA in the world, then I would go, oh yeah, hops, okay, I'm getting it. Okay, <laughs> pretty much, right? Yeah. But if I drank it right after I had the Vulcan, yeah. it would almost like shock my face. Yeah. Like, oh my, yeah. what the? That was a big left turn. Right? Yeah. A, a flavor, even though it's in the same style, mm -hmm. uh, may even have the same alcohol mm -hmm. content and mm -hmm. all, all that type of stuff. It's just like, dramatically mm -hmm. different. I always try to get people to blindly taste beers and just try to close their eyes and assess the input coming from their senses. Yeah. Because that is way different than, you know, grabbing a bottle of something you know and taking it. You already have all these preconceived notions. You're, you're, you're tasting usually what you want to taste unless sure. it's completely like a left-hand turn. So blindly tasting things and tasting things next to each other you'll really start to get the character, the differences yeah. uh, in these beers. And, right. and yeah, if you were to have an IPA today and an IPA tomorrow, those may taste pretty much the same in your mind, but if you were to have both of them today, yeah. side by side, you would say, whoa, it's a beautiful thing if you take the time yeah. and, 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 and compare things. Vulcan's a little more aggressive. We say that about it. It, it requires your attention yeah. a little more than some of the other beers. It's a little bit narcissistic. Uh, okay. It wants you to notice it. Yeah. It, it has body. It has. I like that you're giving like emotions to your beer. It's <laughs> great. Absolutely it does. So as far as like in a mood or or a situation that you might have it, it's usually better in the evening. Yeah. Not one you would want to have like 10:30 yeah. and some golf no. balls. Uh, take a little time on this one because a couple of these and, and you're doing all right. Yeah. And I think that's also part of its narcissism is, is it doesn't go unnoticed. You can't just like <laughs> you can't have one and, and, and go on to the next one. Yeah, I, I get the exact same thing. This is a after work, I've had a busy day, I want to chillax. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want to get things going a little quicker. A couple of you know, Vulcans will yeah. just kind of get me in the zone, I'm feeling good. Yeah, a little springboard. Uh, uh, food wise. I don't think I'd pair this with anything spicy. Like, I, I don't get spicy. I, I think savory with this. And it's kind of funny, like savory, maybe salty, like in mm -hmm. that type of thing. Like, I'm yeah. thinking the, the hoppiness and the extra viscosity, as you mentioned, like my mouth gets, it gets a little bit drier, but it also makes me want to eat like a burger. Yeah. Right? So that's yeah. savory feeling. Yeah, I would say pretty much anything other than uh, sweetness. You yeah. know, the bitterness and the sweetness doesn't go well together. Savory works really well with this beer, but then you kind of have to match the high notes. So the base level matches well with savory. This is an interaction yeah. with like your your taste buds and what you had, you know, for lunch or, yeah. or what kind of mood you're in. So it, it, it's difficult to try to assess those things because it's always changing. It's relying on you, the individual, yeah. and not the discrete compounds that are in the beer, you know? Awesome. Well, this has been great. You want to finish it up? Let's do it. All right, man. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you very much.